here! Yo guys, I am back and we are going into week 4 of season 3. Uh, this time we're facing Miles W1, Miles Watson. You guys recognize him from last season. He joined us in season 2, so thank you for that, Miles. Um, and this is our boy from New Zealand, so yeah. Um, he has a pretty scary team. So far, you guys probably saw my week 3 matchup against Acrobat and we finally got that guy. He had my number until last week. Um, pretty pretty um, bad ending because I pretty much won the game. It was like a 50-50 chance either one of us win, but then I got a crucial um, critical hit, I believe. Uh, what was it on? I believe it was on Deonsi. I could be mistaken, but yeah. I believe I won the game due to that critical hit. But that's the game of Pokemon, so. Let me show you guys our matchup. We have a tough matchup this week against Miles W1. Uh, one thing I do notice about his team, is it is very setup dependent. But once he gets a setup, um, some kind of setup, he's going to be tough to stop. So we got to do our best to, uh, to counter that, so. He has a lot of Pokemon I could see coming, but I'm going to guess the six he's bringing, and we'll try our best to beat it. Uh, hopefully we could go 4-0, because in week five we face up against one of the best teams in the league in my opinion, Captain Brock. Um, you guys know, remember him from our semifinals matchup last season, So, but let's hit, worry about the hero now. Here is Miles' team. Um, he, um, we're still waiting for him to do his week three matchup. So as of today, um, as of today, he's one and one, and we're three and zero. Oh. Um, guys, you probably hear that all that um, stuff in the background. Those fireworks is the fourth of July, and I'm recording this intro like mad early actually. What's today? Thursday, and uh, we're not going to battle Miles until like Monday at earliest. So. It was a pretty early recording, but that means less work for me to do. Uh, I could just spend more time practicing and whatnot, or shiny hunting on Twitch. So, um, yeah, guys, happy 4th to all of you watching this. Um, well, you're going to see it late, so happy 4th anyways. Um, I will show you what 6 I predict he, he will bring, but I could see like 9 of his six, nine of his 12 Pokemon coming easily. But this is what I'm... Uh, practicing against for the most part so I definitely 100% I could see um I see Mega Scizor coming uh Toxapex and Dragonite and I want to say Delph Fox as well I'm very confident those four make the trip um the other two it, they're interchangeable but I could really see Malouetta coming I'm not used to playing against it but I recognize that if it transforms into his fighting form, um, the speed on it goes like all the way up to 124 base speed if I'm not mistaken. Something crazy like that. So, um, He has a lot of Pokemon that if they set up, he's going to outspeed most of my team. So I, we, we really have to um, make some predictions and hopefully don't get set up on too much. So, um, I mean, yeah, we, we look, we're looking at Rubombi, which is arguably his favorite Pokemon, I believe. And Malouetta for the fifth and sixth slot, but I could easily see um, Pokemon like there's a good chance Mel uh, Minier comes. Minier, um, very tough Pokemon to beat. I have a secret weapon uh, or my Z move in case it does make the trip, but um, yeah, I'm very scared of Minier. It's probably the most scariest mod on this team against me, so uh, let's hope he doesn't bring it. I could see Sil um, Sylveon coming. This is um. Something we haven't seen much yet, um, so far into the season. A very fairy, um, oh, very, uh, a roster with a lot of fairies on it. So we gotta be careful. I have a lot of dragons and he has a lot of fairies, so we have to play smart. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna be bringing Mega Venusaur. Um, helps me beat Mega Scizor easily, helps me beat Toxapex easily. And um, we could, I don't think I have Sludge Bomb, but if I do bring it, it will put in a lot of work against his fairy types. Next up, we're bringing Starboy, aka our Jirachi. We haven't seen him since um, week one, but we're bringing him this time because 
Um, I plan to run them Choice Scarf and pack Elemental Punches. By that I mean Fire Punch for things like Scizor and uh, Rimbombi. And Ice Punch for Dragonite. And um, either Iron Head or Body Slam for some hacks. So uh, Next up we have Heatran. The Heatran is mainly to, um, so we don't get poison. The game plan, I might lead off Heatran and try to lay up Stealth Rock. Because Rabombi loves to set up, um, well, Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock looks really, really good this week. Because Rabombi likes setting up, it usually always has, um, Focus Sash. So if we could do Stealth Rock, then there's not going to be any Focus Sash for Rabombi. Um, also, Dragonite has a very powerful ability, um, it shares his ability, ability with Lugia, and it's called Multiscale. So if Dragonite or Lugia um, has 100% health, it actually takes like half damage from super effective attacks, I believe. Or I, it takes half damage from any attack, I believe, as long as it's 100% health. So um, that's why I want to lead off the Heatran and pray he like leads off for Bombi, which I think he might. So um, we have Hydreigon, Choice Scarf Hydreigon. Um, Mainly just to launch Earth Powers on Toxapex, uh, uh, Fire Move against Rabombi and um, Mega Scizor. We have Noivern. Um, the Noivern slot, I might change it before a matchup, but I've been experimenting with Noivern and it's been semi-clutch. Um, mainly because of Frisk. It tells me what kind of item um, Pokemon like Delphox and uh, Dragonite have. So, And then last but not least, making his debut and um and it looks like it's going to be a key component to this um matchup actually but it's jellicent our boy hypnotic um what jellicent does you guys is going to be bringing um z blizzard um so if i click z blizzard we oko we always oko minior if it comes if minior doesn't come i'm going to use it on dragonite it Oko's Dragonite, off Offensive Dragonite, even with Multiscale intact. So that's just crazy. Um, anyways, that's my six. Mega Venusaur, Jirachi, Heatran, um, Hydreigon, Noivern, and Jellicent. We have two Dragons, but we also have two Steel types. So, yeah. It's going to be a tough matchup, man. But I really want to get um, come out with a victory this week. Because next week will be... Um, a little tougher. I'm really concerned about Captain Brock's team. Um, it's a very bulky team, but then he did that trade with Acrobat, where he um, Captain Brock sent his Mega Gyarados for Acrobat's um, Mega Alakazam. So that's going to be very scary. So let's try to come out with a W this week, and um, I will record a team builder in a few days. So um, yeah, let's get it, man. Bye. Yo, what is up guys? I'm back and um, pretty much a week later, right? Well, I recorded my intro on 4th of July and today's um, the 9th actually, so um, it's been a little while, but we're about to throw down in like 15 minutes. So let me briefly go through my team builder with you guys and uh, show you what I'm bringing this week and why. Um, before I do so, let me ask you a question of the day. I want to ask you guys what is your mo most favorite and least favorite evolution? Um, I'll get it. I ask this because um, we've been getting a lot of um, sword and shield like content, trailers and whatnot. And we, I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet, but the word is there will be two new Eevees. Um, a ground Eevee and a flying Eevee. So, yeah. So I want to ask you, what is your favorite and least favorite evolution? Um, I'll get it started here. My most favorite has always been Espeon. Ever since Gold, Silver, and Crystal came out as a little kid. Um, I always went with Espeon and it's been my favorite ever since. Not even a de debate with me. So, um, And my least favorite would possibly be Flareon. You know, nothing against Flareon, but just com competitive-wise, it's not as good as, um, like all the others, right? 
So let me know down below if you like Eevee, any kind of Eevee, let me know your most favorite and your least favorite. But let's get off to the team builder. Um, first off, we have Starboy. He's rocking a Choice Scarf. He has Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. And he's rocking a Choice Scarf. Um, Jolly Nature. 34 in HP, 252 in attack, and 224 in speed. And what this does, um, this is really important, guys. Um, let me go through my notes really quick because I want to share with you guys why I have this build. Um, where did I write this down? Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, I'm so confused as to where my notes went. But, um, the Choice Scarf, I believe we outspeed stuff like, uh, plus one Jolly, max speed Dragonite. So after he does Dragon Dance, I could still come in and click Ice Punch against him. Uh, I believe we outspeed, um, stuff like Rebombi before a boost. Minier before a shell smash and stuff like that. So Troy Scarf was um Jirachi's gonna be a big player, man. Jirachi knocks out most of um the mons I prepared for. Is Troy Scarf, but um we need to and I don't want Dragonite to boost up too much. We need to take it out first thing. So I fully respect um Pokemon like Rebombi, Dragonite, and Minier, so so that's Jirachi. Um, really quick before I go any further, guys, my intro video I shot five days ago. Uh, most of those teams are the same, except I believe I told you guys I was bringing Noivern, and I kept in my practice. I keep, I kept going back and forth between Cabalion and Noivern, and I think we're going to stick with Cabalion. I hate rocking three steel types because if Minior gets boosted and start spamming Earthquake, I'm kind of screwed. But it's up to me. I gotta prevent that from happening. So, um, the thing about Miles W1, most of his mons, they need a turn to set up. And even Meloetta, it needs a turn just to transform if if he brings it. Um, what I've noticed is, I think only Minior on his team is really an Earthquake user. Or a good Earthquake user, right? So, I'm... Um, if there's ever a matchup to bring two or more steel types, it has to be this week, so. And, um, uh, yeah, my steel types prevent me from, like, getting harmed from toxic spikes. Uh, we could switch in on toxic. Minior and Rebombi don't want to, don't want to mess with, um, steel types. So. Second up, we have our Heatran. It's a Sugarberry Heatran. Uh, Lava Plume, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and Roar. So as you see, as you can see, we're gonna lead off with a Kabalion and try to lay up Stealth Rock. So Roar is to, so we could phase some people out if he starts getting boosted with Dragonite, perhaps. Um, Lava Plume, nothing on his team really switches into Lava Plume. So we have a 30, we never miss with Lava Plume, plus we have a 30% chance to burn um, something that switches in so that could be pretty pretty nice if he switches in Dragonite or something We have Tim in nature 252 in HP 24 in special attack and 232 in speed and what that speed does now See I have this written down man, so I can tell you guys um I have this written down man, what the hell? Um, I believe this 232 in speed allows me to outspeed, um, max speed Mega Scizor. So, let's say he opts to go Jolly 252 speed. We outspeed it and we actually Oko with Lava Plume. So, that's what my speed is there for. That's why we're Tim in nature. Um, normally I'd invest more into bulk, but we're going to outspeed. But we don't want a cheeky, um, like... We don't want his Scizor to go first and superpower me, right? Next up, we have Corrupt. Um, Choice Scarf, but second Choice Scarfer, right? Um, check this out. Draco Meteor for Dragonite. Um, Fire Blast, Earth Power, and Defog. In case my opponent 
he could lead. I actually expect him to lead Rebombi, and he could do stuff like um, Sticky Webs with his Rebombi. Um, his Toxapex could get really annoying laying up uh, toxic, toxic Spikes, excuse me. Oh, very tired. Um, anyways, yeah, we have one Defogger, okay? Uh, we're Tim in Nature, 240 in Speed, 252 in Special Attack, and just 16 in HP. And the speed, I believe if we look here, both Jirachi and Hydreigon um, end up at 321 speed. So, it's doing the same out speeds that um, Jirachi is supposed to be doing. So, we could come in, if his Dragonite's already boosted by one, we could come in, just Drake, drop a Draco, right? We drop a Draco, we, um, we outspeed with Bombi, right? Before boost, we outspeed Rabombi and click fire, fire Blast. Um, yeah, so. Next up, one of the key players this game. He's been killing it for me this season. I believe he's seven kills and one death. But, boy, am I going to need Venusaur, guys. Um, this is always my main way of countering um, both Toxapex and Mega Scizor, right? Um, we're Mega Venusaur. We have Sludge Bomb for... He doesn't really have too many good switch-ins for a Sludge Bomb. So, I believe it even does like 30% damage on Dragonite. So, um, Sludge Bomb, Oko's Bombi, who's most likely going to be Focus Sash anyway. So, I gotta be careful there. Um, Earthquake. We come in on Toxapex. Toxapex doesn't really do anything to me besides... Besides, um... Trying to get a Scald Burn. If I'm the Toxapex user, that's what I'm trying to do, right? Um, excuse me if I'm tripping out. I hear a little little critter in my room right now in my um, recording shed. So, um, Hidden Power Fire. We could come in on Mega Scizor. And I believe we two hit KO it with Hidden Power Fire. And Leech Seed. Because why not? Give us a little bit of sustain and discourage him from setting up too much on me, right? So, we are Naive Nature, meaning um, we're actually a very speedy Mega Venusaur. I'm unsure if I need a 252 in speed, but I'm assuming this allows us to... We're slightly faster than Heatran, meaning we could, um... Well, we're going to outspeed Mega, Mega Sizzle always. Um, I'm not sure what the 252 in speed is for, but we're just going to keep it as is. It's been doing great for me in practice, so... Um, 252 speed nature, right? Uh, 248 in HP and 8 in attack, because why not? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks a little goofy on my spread, but we're too late to change it, man. <laughs> I've been practicing, doing a lot more practice um, this week, actually. Doing more than I usually do, so. Um, anyways, se season debut, guys. The homie Hypnotic. I want to make sure it's always a male, by the way. Right? The females are pink, I believe. So, it's always going to be a male. Um... No shiny, yeah. Hypnotic is our Jellicent, rocking ICMZ. Most people, no one's really going to um, expect this. So, um, what ICMZ for is for, guys, we have it teamed up with Blizzard. And get this, the way I built this Jellicent, um, we could click Blizzard Z. So, meaning we never... We're go it's a guaranteed hit, right? Because of the Z move. But what my build does, we Oko, we always Oko, um, Minior, Meteor, right? The defensive form of Minior. Or we could also, um, Oko, Max HP Dragonite with his, um, multi scale ability. Yeah, we Oko that thing, e regardless of ability or not. So uh, that's why we're rocking Blizzard Z. Uh, my secret tech for this week. We're Modest Nature, 248 in HP, 40 in def Fizz Def, and um, 220 in Special Attack. So, yeah. This is actually a very offensive Jellicent. Just for to launch that Blizzard Z. Because we... I am terrified of Minior. I think that's the mod I'm most terrified of this week. So, I want to stop it. I just want to come in, not overthink. We're just going to click Blizzard Z and see what happens. So... Um, we have Hex, we have Will-O-Wisp, Blizzard, and Recover. Um, this Pokemon could really go in 
we want to click um, Will-O-Wisp on things like Mega Scizor, on Toxic Pex to, um, to like get rid of this Black Sludge recovery, right? And, um, and Hex. Hex um, works really well once the opponent is burned or paralyzed or whatever. So, and next up, guys, my wild card slot. I've been going back and forth between uh, Kaboyan and Noivern, but we're rocking with Cody this week, most likely in my lead. And uh, it was tough to come up with the spread, but it seems to be what worked for me during practice the past two days. So, um, we have Figgy Berry, Iron Head, Sword Dance, Thunder Wave, and Stealth Rock. So, um, there's Miles text me right now. Um, we're Jolly Nature, 232 in speed, 198 in HP, and 78 in attack. I'm unsure what the, the speed is for. Um, but I believe if we... Oh, I was rock polished earlier, but we're not doing that route anymore. We're just going to go at it, man. We're going to go at it. Um, Maybe I should keep rock polish. Should I do that? Um... I think maybe we should. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that. We're gonna go rock polish. Because I have that speed there for a reason. Um, Thunder Wave's cool and all, but... Thunder Wave does help against the, like, Dragonite thing. So, we're going Thunder Wave, man, and just hope for the best. Um, this is a tough matchup, but... I'm going through like the toughest of phase of my season, season um, week four, week five against Captain Brock, and then week six against Jorik. So um, hopefully we could win this one because that gives me a little leeway for the next two weeks as well. So um, props to you, Miles, man. He's a good dude. Um, it's going to be tough, man. This is not not an easy matchup. And uh, stay tuned, guys. My check. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, Miles W1, uh, Miles is sending the request in. Yeah, here we go, man. Here we go. Let me double check everything. I just read it off to you, so it should be good, but we just want to double check. Chris Body is fine. Oh, uh, over here. Level 2, Flash Fire. Yeah, we're cool, right? We're cool. Oh, man. Thunder Wave, huh? Thunder Wave Cabal, man. Interesting stuff. Uh, Alright. Good luck, Miles. Ugh. Oh my god, what is this? So we have Copperigus. I did not want to see Copperigus. Um what is he trying to do here? Okay, what is he trying to do? If I were him, I'm going to lead off um just disable music. Um, what goes on here? This is pretty much what we expected, but he switched up. He didn't bring, um, Delphox, which I'm really happy about. I think I always lead Cabalion. I don't see why not, if I'm being honest. Um, he could try to Will-O-Wisp. But I don't think he's, there's no reason he starts off with Coffer Grigas. Um, he's either gonna, I wanna say he starts off with Bombi or Minier, honestly. So, Combine's my lead. I'm just trying to figure out what, what he didn't bring. He didn't bring Delphox, and he didn't bring Dragonite. No Dragonite. Good move on his part, actually, because my Draco Meteor looks kinda dumb, or useless now, so. Um, let's go, let's go. Here comes Minier, I'm very happy to see that. I'm wondering what we do here. Do we just Iron Head? Actually, wouldn't mind Iron Heading right now. Oh. Um, Cobalion, Gabon, Minior. I'm gonna have to see what this does. Um, we need to break his, um, what, whatchamacallit, his, um, Meteor. He could, what happens if he Shell Smashes? Um, does he start sweeping from there? He could. That's kind of scary, man. I'm very scared of this guy right now. Um, Meteor. 
Iron head. We have two iron head, right? Okay, good, good, good. Nice move. I could see him trying to willow me, honestly. Please willow. Oh, a trick room. He could try focus blast. Oh. Lane up toxic spikes. That's okay. I got my Mega Venusaur here. Um, Earth Power. Okay, come on, let's think about this. We're doing okay so far. Um, what were you tricking? So, Earth Power, we're not... Earth Power always kills. If I'm him, he... Do we just Earth Power? We call Flash Cannon, too. Flash Cannon kills. Um, let's do that. Oh! Oh, crap! Nice play! Oh, fuck, I shouldn't... <laughs> oh, nice play, Miles. Okay. That does a lot. Why does that do so much? That doesn't seem correct to me. Toxic packs. This seems like a physically. Uh, okay, this is very weird. He's adamant, right? Adamant P jab. Poison jab. Let's see what's going on here. To uh, nice play on Mal's part, dude. Oh fuck! Do we want to stay in here? Earthquake, we could I like Sludge Bomb. This could be our time for uh, this is scary. Um, scary stuff. Shut up the Oh, what happens here? Um, we go into Jellicent. What if he gets a plus two? Then he starts sweeping, right? No. That was cool. Oh, fuck, what was that? Oh, here we go, evolution, right? Um, wow, dude, what's going on? Is this choice scarf, uh, choice, choice, um, band? Choice specs, um, hyper voice. So that has to be, that's choice banded, right? Choice scarf, um. Oh man, crazy stuff, but Ironhead, Ironhead doesn't kill from here. We need to figure out a player to do. We need to figure out how we're gonna win this, um. Nice switch out. I'm going to get up my rocks really quick. I 
I need to figure out Tux Pex, Tux Pex. Dude, what kind of set, um, physically defensive, physically? If I go plus two right now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Okay. That does nothing. That does nothing. We need to switch out. Um. Yeah. Let me break down. Let's let's chillax. Chillax here. Um. Uh, talk effect. Yeah. Liquidation. Cover. We don't know what's last move. It could be um. Dude, that's very unfortunate. Um. Kind of scared to. Do we just go down here? Do we try? Um, we could switch into liquidation. Um, dragon. We need more chip down. Please flinch, yeah. Good flinch. Okay. kind of like just spamming starboard okay oh okay I see no 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 that was kind of a bad move actually this is not enough damage we're not doing enough damage I'm gonna have to zen head but I think and hope we don't miss because I don't know what set he is Could try getting rid of. Nice, nice kill, Drachi. That was a big threat. Come on. And now we—he doesn't know we're scarf. So, KO. Put the damn minion. I really don't see what we're doing here. Oh. He's trying to just win with this minion right now. And I knew I told you guys I was so terrified of this thing. Um. Zen headbutt. Are we? Find out his item. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, this is definitely um specs. Beyond monotype choice specs. What is my switch and Drachi could eat that, right? And then we scare it out. 
We can take over. We can start taking over this game. Um, Minior. It just, what do I want to lock into? Because we need to keep Scissor from doing his thing. Um, how does Venusaur, Venusaur, how does Venusaur eat choice specs? Oh, man. This is tricky. This is, what am I gonna... This is very tricky, man. Do I save this Pokemon anyways? Oh, this is a, yeah, I don't know what to do, actually. Do I just recover? Oh, he's probably predicting that at all. Okay, so he must be Specs. What is he going to do right now? Okay, he's not Specs. Okay, he's not Specs. <laughs> that did a lot of damage earlier, man. Um, Sylveon, not Specs. <laughs> he has um Hyper Voice, Voice um Shadow Ball, which was a cool bring, Miles. I just want to find out what is he. Um, he's burned. He's burned right now. Um, the cool thing is those Fire Punch kill from here. What does um our boy um yeah this is so very tricky he could have psychic but we should outspeed we're going to sc try scaring him off right now yeah we're faster so we have to scare him off with sludge bomb right we're going to sludge bomb Oh, that's some BS. At this point, we just um, hit him power fire, right? In case Scizor wants to come in. I think he's just gonna, he wants to come in. He wants to get a free switch in. Um, so he's gonna go down. What does, okay, we're looking at Venusaur, right? What is, um, what does Minior take with the Sludge Bomb? Quick attack. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Oh man, man, Miles, dude. Take it easy on me, man. <laughs> A sludge bomb kills, right? A sludge bomb kills right there. Oh, if you acrobatics, that could be a big problem, right? Nice! Venusaur! Venusaur! Clutch! Clutch! Venusaur! Venusaur! Is that game? I think that's game, guys. Yeah, this should be game. Did we just drop Draco? Um, let's see. Should be game though. Oh man, um, that's crazy. It just, what do we want to? We'll just Starboy, man, and hope we don't miss. Could we miss? No, we can't miss. So here we go. Oh. Good God. Oh, yo, Miles W1, Miles Watson. Props, bro. Props is T spiking. Um, wow. That was a tough one. That was the toughest game so far. Well, week three against Acrobat, but 
This was tough, man. Uh, props to Miles, man. Yeah, good job, dude. I, I was confused on that. Sylveon? Sylveon ended up being a good play, so... Um, I was all thinking it was choice specs for a while because that Hyper Voice damage was unreal, dude. So I did assume it was choice specs, but he got me by surprise. Um, I thought he was choice blocked into Shadow Ball, but we saw next play he was hyped. Oh, Hyper Voice, so... Goodness, man. Ugh. So. Props, dude. And I like that our two Choice Scarfers, we kept them for in the back. They're full health. Um, shout out to laying down Stealth Rock. So, Kabalian, yeah, sure, Cody Kabalian went down. But he laid up Stealth Rock. He was clicking Thunder Wave. Um... Uh, we got some flinches. I believe we got like two flinches this game, but uh, fuck, anything to win, man. So props to Miles W1. Thank you, Top, for watching. Thank you, the viewer, for watching. And uh, guys, stay tuned. By the way, shout out to Miles for bringing the evolution. <laughs> uh, right? Um, yeah, next week we get Captain Brock. Easily one of my favorites for the season. So I'm going to have my hands full. And try to try to stay undefeated. Um, it's going to be a lot harder next week, guys. So um, stay tuned. Like this video. Subscribe if you're new, so you could watch the next episode next week. And uh, thank you, Miles. And thank you, guys. Bye. Yeah, that was our week four battle against Miles W1. GG, my dude. Um, that was a hell of a game, man. So, I'm glad I came up on top because things were looking really sketchy in the early and mid game. So, I'm glad we turned it. Miles, he started off with a pretty decent lead, but um, somewhere in the middle, I was able to kind of come back. I I want to say it was the Cabalion versus Toxapex ma matchup. Um, yeah, but just really quick. Quick shout out to um, well a lot of my moms, but Jellicent made us um, season debut and unfortunately didn't go as planned. We had that Blizzard Z move uh, planned out for Minior or Dragonite, and we didn't pull it off because Miles brilliantly um, switched out on it. So we wasted our Z move. Um, I wish Jellicent at least would have got that Willow Wisp off on the Scizor because we would have done a lot of damage if we burned the Scizor and then spam Hex. I think we could have took it on one one v one. So um, yeah, unfortunately we missed. Um, really quick, Heatran finally got his first kill of the season. Um, Props to Miles for bringing a Cofagrigus. I did not prepare or even think about it whatsoever. So props, uh, he brought a nice Trick Room set and um, Destiny Bond. D Bond got me on the last turn of Trick Room. I'm unsure why I didn't think of that, but um, yeah, cheeky KO. So um, that was Heatran getting his first kill of the season. Uh, Venusaur was a key component, as always. Um, we've been bringing it every game this season, and uh, it put in work this time. Mainly, um, being able to come in on things like uh, Toxapex and Mega Scizor without being too scared of it. Um, it. It was very crucial to come in and get rid of those T-Spikes. Uh, Miles, for whatever reason, he felt the need to lay up T-Spikes against my team, even though I had like three Steel types and Venusaur. But yeah, Venusaur was able to come in and just take away those spikes, which was cool. And um, really got crucial damage, getting a KO on, I believe, on Sylveon and Minior. And then a lot of uh, chip damage on other things, like... We, I believe we got the Mega Scizor once with Hidden Power Fire, if I'm not mistaken. So, big shout out to Venusaur, looking at 9 kills already, almost double digits, and... Uh, with a plus seven ranking so far so yeah i'm loving i'm loving our second season with our green mon <laughs> our green monster so and last but not least jirachi 
Cause I'm a motherfucking star boy. <laughs> oh, we got three kills, man. Three kills, crucial kills. Oh, uh, first kills of the season were all this game. So, uh, Troy Scarf Drachi putting in the work, dude. That fire punch at the end. I was about to go and tie Dragon and get him a kill, but I was scared of um, Draco Meteor could miss and Fire Blast could definitely miss. So we just wanted to, I did not want to risk it. I just went into Jirachi. He had Fire Punch 100% accuracy and that ended the game. So I was not down to, we already missed a Willow earlier today. So I was not about that life. <laughs> but anyways, props. Props to Miles and props to my team, mainly Venusaur, um, Jirachi, and Kabarian for laying up a stealth rock. That really did help. So even though he went down, uh, we need rock. So I'm glad we brought him. Um, everyone made their debut so far except Pre Marina. So look out for that soon. I definitely plan to bring her um, one in the next few weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching and. Uh, yeah, until next time, Miles. Uh, good luck rest of your season, man. And uh, stay tuned, my friends. We take on Captain Brock next. So that is going to be a must-watch episode. So um, bye, you guys. And enjoy the rest of your week. Let's go, Team Corrupt.